Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome back to our channel once again. And it is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find you guys in good health. Personally, I am fine as you can see. Kisumu is fantastic. And maybe you could also let me know where you're watching the video from. The county or the country. In case you are out of the republic. Ladies and gentlemen, on Saturday, Iran launched direct drone and missile attacks on Israel. And William Ruto, in his capacity as the president of the Republic of Kenya, issued a statement. But Gitobu Imanyara believes very strongly that the statement by William Ruto could actually jeopardize Ren Odinga's chances of becoming the next chair of the African Union Commission. So in this video, I want us to do a critical analysis about William Ruto's statement and why Gitobu Imanyara believes that the remarks by the president could jeopardize Ren Odinga's chances of becoming the next chair of the African Union Commission and also try to understand the politics behind Israel, Iran, Palestine and the United States of America. But before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, allow me to dive in. Let me just read for you the statement which William Ruto issued over the attack by Iran on Israel. This is what William Ruto posted. Kenya is deeply concerned by Iran's attack on the state of Israel. This disturbing development only serves to aggravate an already delicate situation in the Middle East. The attack represents a real and present threat to international peace and security, contravenes the charter of the United Nations, and should be condemned by all peace-loving countries. I think that's where Gitobi Manyara has problems with. In responding to this act of aggression, Kenya urges Israel to show at most restraint, taking into account the urgent need for all parties to walk away from the brink beyond which recovery will be enormously difficult. In short, what William Ruto is saying here is condemning the attack on Israel, but is also calling on Israel not to attack or not to retaliate. But Gitobu Imanyara is thinking otherwise. As a matter of fact, if you read this William Ruto statement, there is a part here, if you read, where William Ruto is actually asking other peace-loving countries to condemn the action. Now, let us go to, to Gitobu Imanyara's statement, which was posted on Twitter. Let me just get the statement by Gitobu Imanyara. Now, this is what Gitobu Imanyara posted. And of course, for those who are on Twitter, you can go and even read the comments which are very interesting. This is what Gitobu Imanyara is saying. Huh? President Ruto's unprincipled diplomatic pronouncement on Kenya Middle Eastern policy risk destroying Raila's candidature for chairmanship of the African Union Commission. American whom he so wants to please will not be voting and will not influence the vote. Kenya ought to tow the Africa Union stand on Israel and at, this, at the very least remain non-aligned. Which begs the question, what is the African Union stand on Israel and Palestine? The truth of the matter, in fact, let us just go back a bit. Sometimes in, uh, was it in February? February, I think. Sometimes early this month, must have been 1st or 2nd of April, Israeli launched some attacks on Iran consulate in Damascus. That attack killed senior Iranian commanders. So most people believe that the attack, the latest attack on Israel, was actually response by Iran to the attack on their consulate. But William Ruto has issued a, a statement, and that statement is very clear. But let us not get into the war. 
I want us to focus on how it might affect Raila Odinga's candidature for the African Union Commission. But before you do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, allow me to dive in. Why do you think Gitobi Manyara believes that William Ruto's statement could actually affect Raila Odinga's bid? Number one is the circumstances that prompted Iran to attack Israel. Now, we are all here. Most of us, we might be sympathetic to Israel. And some of us, or most of us also, might be sympathetic to Palestinian. But, what caused, what prompted Iran to attack? What do you think prompted Iran to really attack Israel? The truth of the matter is that the moment Israel attacked their consulate in Damascus, it was expected that Iran was not going to sit and watch. Did Kenya issue a statement at that particular time when Israel attacked Iran consulate? So those are the issues. And because Kenya did not issue a statement at that time, why should they issue a statement right now? So those circumstances means that if you take Africa as a, as a continent and you subject them to vote, there are those who will vote with Israel, there are those who will vote with Palestine. So based on what Gitobi Manyara is suggesting, that it would be best for William Ruto just to remain unaligned and probably to just let Africa Union to take a stand on the matter so that Kenya will automatically find itself right inside there. So that's number one. Number two, the vote, the African Union Commission vote is normally won, I think, by two-thirds of the votes. And it's, of course, it's currently the turn of Eastern Africa. We've seen Djibouti sponsoring a candidate who is a Muslim. We've seen also Somali sponsoring a candidate. With those options, a protest vote might happen. What Raila Odinga need now is each and every vote. Because each and every vote will actually count. That is the truth. So when you take a stand and then we have our Muslim brothers who believe that Israel, yeah, <laughs> who prefer Palestine to Israel, then they might think otherwise. Remember, Raila Odinga had actually managed to win their support earlier, way before he even announced his bid for becoming the next chair of the African Union Commission. Let me take you to early January on Raila Odinga's birthday, which I think must have been on 7th of January, Raila Odinga celebrated the day in Malindi and he celebrated it in some children's home. I think by that time there were also some attacks on Palestine where over 100 people, children and women, had been uh, affected. Raila Odinga, in his own wisdom, issued a statement. And in his statement, Raila Odinga decided to dedicate his birthday cake to those children of Palestine. Number three, that William Ruto statement can also be interpreted to mean or to show 
that Kenya is actually a puppet of the US. At the moment Kenya will be branded as a puppet of the US, their candidate who is Raila Molodinga might also be branded as a puppet of the US. Remember William Ruto issued this statement even before the US government issued their statement. And finally when the US government issued their statement, <laughs> they were very clear that uh, they actually want Netanyahu that the US will not take part in Israeli counter strike against Iran. Because Israel I don't think they will just let this go. They might retaliate. But the US who has always supported them are telling them we will not be part of that. Why do you think the US decided to take that position? Probably because they know that the people who launched the attack first were not Iran. Iran actually provoked. <laughs> and lastly is the African Union stand. What is the stand of Africa Union on this matter? William Ruto, Gitobi Manyara believes, should have waited for Africa Union to take a stand and then stick by that stand. So I don't know what you think. That's my take. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye bye. And by the way, today I've just watched a video. <laughs> of the truthful men Riyadi Gashagwa launching attacks on people with fake degrees and he was clearly targeting Joseph Sakaja who was present and if you go to Twitter right now you will see Sakaja trending at number one. Maybe that should be our next analysis. Until next that time ladies and gentlemen this is Lee McQueen. Bye bye.